On November 7th, voters in the Clarinda School District go to the polls on a bond issue vote for the second time within a year. This time, it's a $10.3 million bond issue to take care of some key renovations at both the 712 complex and here at the pre-K-6 building. And there's a lot of work that they want to do, mainly with the entrances here at the elementary building. Though the first bond issue was rejected in March, the need for an improved entryway at the elementary building remains. Clarinda School Superintendent Jeff Privia says the building needs a safe and secure entryway. We're going to flip-flop uh, where the entrances are now and making them a lot more like the high school. So it's a safe, secure entrance where you have to be buzzed in. And we have that now, but then there's a long hallway before you get to a secretary. Now when you're buzzed in, you'll go directly to a secretary and the secretary will buzz you into the next level. This section that we're work looking at right now is the entrance to the 4-6 side. The Garfield side is actually the exact same. Um, once you're buzzed in um, through the first door here, you start to gain access to our building. Um, we do have these doors. Um, these doors here to the left are locked, but this door. So once you um, get past here, you would have access to the whole school. Our secretary is still another 50 feet up to the front. What we want to do is take that office area and move it down here and renovate that. And then that would be renovated into classrooms. And we'd actually gain some classroom space. At the elementary, we need a little more space um, for our specials programs, our, our coaches, our Title I, those kind of programs that allow us to uh, open up some other classrooms because uh, they would just need offices. Another project involves improving the building's traffic flow. What we'd be looking at is keeping this as our bus entrance because it's easy to get back out on the highway, but we'd be adding a loop to the back of the building where parents can pick up their students uh, on the 4-6 side. Uh, the Garfield side would actually stay the same, but this would eliminate all this cross traffic um, that we have here at the elementary with buses and cars trying to come through this small area at the same time. One of the changes in the previous bond issue attempt is a decreased tax asking. In fact, this bond issue's tax asking is reduced to $1.80 per $1,000 valuation. What that means, that's your taxable income. Um, so if you had a $100,000 home, it would cost you $6.62 a month or just under $79 a year, just right at $79 a year. You know, if you have a $200,000 home, you would double that. And if you had a $300,000 home, you would triple that. So right now we've really cut that taxpayer impact back as far as we can. Privio hopes the series of community meetings and presentations plus the mailings will have a positive impact on the voters in the Clarinda School District. By Thursday night, we'll have done 25 different group presentations. So we really made a grassroots effort to get the word out of what we're doing, how we're doing it, and, and what it will do for the community and for the school. And really tried to make sure they understood that these there's nothing lavish in, in these plans, that this is really... This is what we need to continue as a good school district. For further information on the Clarenda School District's bond issue, you can go to the website, which has all kinds of information regarding the bond issue and what it would do for taxes. For KMA News, I'm Mike Peterson.